What up, what up? Welcome back to a Q-Tip Fridays. Another Q-Tip Fridays for the brain. You know what I'm saying the, the nuggets, the gems that people get out of this. Hopefully it gives value to you in some kind of way. You know what I'm saying? But I try to come across some dope shit that people would love to hear. So, um, this week's topic, I'll call this uh, <clears throat> Rookie... No, no. Amateur trader mistakes. Or amateur trader situations. I'm pretty sure we all go through this when we first started. You know what I'm saying? So, when it comes down to it, right? Like, all these topics, when you're going through it, I feel like it's very hard on a person. You know? Like, a person can feel depressed and all kind of other shit. Um, but... When you pass these stages, I feel like it's so funny, you know, like, whenever, um, I have a friend that called me, like, yo, bro, man, like, I just lost in the market, bro, I start laughing because it's funny as shit, it's funny as, like, yo, man, I was on full fucking margin, that shit was crazy, that shit is hilarious, it's like, it's like, it's humor for a trader, damn, man, like, fucking news took me out, bro, it's hilarious, because, We've all been through it, you know what I'm saying? Like, we've all been through so like to hear somebody else go through it and hear their perspective on it, it's the most funniest thing because everybody's reaction is a bit different, but we all have something in common, you know what I'm saying? So I got a few topics that I wanna cover, right? First thing, buying and selling multiple orders and expecting a good outcome. Are you fucking crazy? Pretty much hedging. You know, like you're going Imagine a person just start trading, right? They, they're they trading a random pair, let's say AU or some shit, or UJ. Um, yeah, man, like, I got it, bro. Like, listen, I, I get it. They're probably doing, like, 10, 20, 30 orders of 0 .01, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, 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 sell, buy, sell. Like, what? That's just a mess. <laughs> what are you going through? You know, like, bro, get it together. Like, what the fuck? So... Seeing that, it's like, yo, you you don't know, you have no idea what you're doing on. Like, you're just pressing buttons at that point. It's hilarious, right? Um, another thing, um, trading ten pairs at once and expecting to be consistent. You're trading ten different, like, let's say a couple majors, a couple exotics, a couple commodities. A couple, um, let's say, energy, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're trading all these different assets at one time, and you're expecting to become consistent. I doubt that's going to happen, because your brain is all over the place. It's like dating 10 different people, 10 different people, 10 different personalities, 10 different things that they might get upset at, 10 different things that they like to eat. You're going to drive your, you're gonna drive yourself crazy every single fucking trade or every single day. Cause that's too it's too much personalities to expect a good outcome to come out of that. It's not likely. You know what I'm saying? Um another thing. Whenever a person says, Oh, your course is too expensive. I'm gonna like my friend has one for 200 By all means, have fun. Pretty much just like prices, prices, prices a lot of times are based on a person's experience, a person's um, success, a person's, all these things. If you feel like that $200 package is, is for you, go right ahead, babe. Go right ahead. Have fun. You know? Let's see. Let, let's see you come back in a couple weeks and, and tell me how it was. You know, like, it happens. You know what I'm saying? Like, very, very common. A lot more common than you, you even think. Um, so... People playing the cheap route. The cheap route is, let's say a person starts learning about trading, right? Let's say I have a friend, all right, named Johnny. Jo Johnny knows what I do. He knows that I teach people all around the entire world. He he knows all these things. Johnny, me and Johnny been close for years. Instead of coming to me, Johnny goes to YouTube. He goes to Google. He goes to all these other places except the person that he, he's known for so long why is that and i'm pretty sure a lot of people can 
relate to this as well. Why is that? Me and I've known Johnny for so long, but why why instead of coming to me knowing that that's my forte, you go to YouTube or Google? And I feel as if it's it's because they they feel like, yo, me and you've been through the same thing. We we've gone the same route. There's no way you got this shit and I can't get this shit right here. It's kind of like an ego thing, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like Johnny just doesn't want to admit that, yo, like, I, I learned from this person. Johnny doesn't want to be the person that, that says, oh, I learned from Q. Because it's, it's ego, it's ego, you know? But Q could teach you so much that you don't, that teach you so much, but also make sure that you're comfortable knowing that we've known each other for so long and extra help can definitely be offered as well because we've known each other for so long but why does Johnny want to go the other route versus just paying a person that he's he, he's been known supporting their business you know what I'm saying supporting what they do supporting their craft you know like why why is it like that so that's a very very common thing like this shit's weird all right um people start planning to quit their job after their first profit oh shit i just made a hundred dollars yo listen like i'm gonna put in my two weeks tomorrow i don't care what you say i just found out about trading last week today i just made a hundred dollars i'm about to put in my two weeks tomorrow calm down calm down all right pause just just, just for a tad bit you know like just take your time because Trust me, that account that you made the hundred dollars on is probably not going to be there in a couple of days. For the main fact that you could have got lucky. Like, it, do you have a full reason as to why you did what you did and, and why you made the, the money that you made, or you, or why you didn't make the money that that you made or didn't make? There's no reasoning behind that money that that you profited in some kind of way. You know, like it's kind of like a you, you don't know why, but it went blue. Then I made a hundred dollars. Like, it's no, it's no reason behind it. You know. Um. There's no, like, th this is a common thing that I always notice also. There's no such thing in the market as too high or too low. That means, oh shit, yo, UJ Price has been at its all-time high for um, two days. Yo, it's no way it's going to keep on going. Why not? Why can't it keep on going? Prices can go higher if things... Are, 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 are going good for that currency and that kind of stuff, prices can keep on going higher. Oh shit, it's been shooting down for four days. It can't keep on going. It goes for another two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, keep on going. There's no such thing as too high or too low in the market. Always be open to um, continuations based off of a certain pair that you're trading. You know what I'm saying? A price can, can keep on getting greater, a price can keep on getting less. You know what I'm saying? Just be be open to a bias versus trying to trade against a trend aggressively for no reason based off of your theories. You know what I'm saying? That's not how it works, all right? Price can keep on going. Like, I remember this one time, before we end this, I remember this one time that um back in the day, like 2015, like, you know, people were, were trading like market maker method and that kind of stuff. And, and they were like, yo, listen, like, it did three pushes. It has to turn around now. That shit kept on fucking going the, the, the same direction for the next two months. Do you know how much people got slapped up because they're trying to trade against, they're trying to go against, or trying to get off of a bounce and that kind of stuff? Just flow with the trend. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's easy, it's stress-free. You know, you get a lot more done that way and you can make a lot more money by just not bringing your ego involved and your theories and that kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's trade what you think. No. Trade what you see and not what you think. Trade what you see and not what you think. So, so think less. Only time to think less is on the charts because what you see, a lot of times, it's obvious. You know what I'm saying? But that's my rant for this Q-Tip Fridays. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm going to at you guys. Leave your feedback in the comments. I would love that. Please, feedback, feedback, feedback. That's why I do these things. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to at you guys until next Friday. Peace out.